What is up everybody? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what we're going to be doing is opening up a seasoned veteran pack. I'm also going to open up a couple of pro packs. And then at the end of the video, I'm, I'm going to show you guys an updated lineup that we're going to be using for this weekend's Pink Slips games. And also kind of just the, for the entire team going forward. Uh, so we'll do that at the very end of the video. But let's start off here. By going in, I'm, like I said, I want to purchase a couple of pro packs. Just get my kind of my uh, my my mojo going, I guess you can say. And uh, like I said, I want to open up a couple pro packs. Just kind of make sure that I'm not, you know, going into this thing and and having bad luck. I, I want to make sure I've got a little bit of decent luck. So I got to get the bad luck out of the way with the pro packs. You guys know how they are. So we're gonna open up three pro packs here. Um, the new Calvin Johnson stuff is supposed to be in the game in a couple of hours, and I've got a couple of Ultimate Legend, or a couple of, uh, Ultimate Legend, a couple of Legend bundles to open up. So we get Mike Breisel. Um, I don't think he really goes for a whole lot here, but he is in the Free Agents Offensive Line set, so I'll have to take a look at that one after this video. Um, not a lot here other than that here in this Pro Pack, unfortunately. But let's see what we get here in the other ones. Um, like I said, this Calvin Johnson stuff is going to be in the game today. And it should be just ridiculous. Like, th that thing is going to be out of control. The boss Calvin Johnson, the 24-hour one, is going to be absolutely ridiculous. There's no doubt about it. Um, and we get Michael Brockers as our gold for this pack. So, again, not much out of this pro pack. But as you guys can see, I actually have a lot of coins going right now. Uh, people are going to ask how I have so many coins. I actually sold all of my elite badges because I just don't really need them right now. I'm not planning on doing any sets that are coming out anytime soon. Um, and I got like 55K for each of my elite badges. So not too shabby. Um, and I was able to boost up my coins. I was also able to sell some older stuff that I really am not using anymore. So just trying to stay on top of my item binder a little bit than I have been in the past. Uh, a little bit more, I should say, than I have been in the past as we get a kicker and a punter in the same pack. Okay, yay. Charles Godfrey is our gold, so not anything out of these pro packs. But like I said, just wanted to kind of get the bad luck out of the way. And hopefully we're going to be able to turn that around here with this final pack, which is going to be the Season Veteran Pack. We're looking for something like a DRC would be absolutely amazing. A Jared Allen would be amazing as well. Um, you know, just looking for something usable here. And, and even if it's not usable, something that's worth going for a, d a decent amount of coins here. So let's go back here and uh, take a look. And like I said, guys, I still have a couple of things to open up here. I have 14 Legend Packs to open up later today. Planning on kind of doing that on stream, I think. Uh, that's currently the plan. Um, also, the uh, Ultimate Legend Toppers, I have two of those, which contain a couple of uh, collectibles in them, possibly some rookies. Um, could be all kinds of different good stuff in those. I know a lot of people are pulling stuff that's worth like 100,000 or more coins out of each of those. Um, I saw Wiza open up his yesterday, and I think, I think he got stuff that was worth like 25 to 50k, so that's probably the worst that I've seen. But even still, if you consider that, I mean, that's really not that bad. Most of the toppers that we've been getting throughout the year have been pretty terrible, so I'm excited to open up those. Um, I also have a, uh, what is this, head-to-head -head master pack. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in this, if I remember correctly. It's just the, the one thing, yeah. So, um, so we will uh, open up this seasoned veterans, or uh, seasoned pro pack, or whatever it's called, uh, to get our seasoned veteran item. Wish me some luck, guys. We're hoping for DRC. Hopefully, we get something decent. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And Debrickishaw Ferguson, 90 overall. I don't think he's going for a whole lot right now, but, um, you know, still something decent at left tackle. Let's see what his attributes look like here. Um, let's compare him to... I Actually, I don't want to compare him yet to my left tackle because I actually did get an upgrade. I think I, I mentioned that to you guys. Um, we'll take a look at that here in just a moment in the updated lineup. But let's see here what his main attributes are here. 95 pass block, that's really good. His run block is terrible, though. 86, is that's awful. Uh, 88 impact block is okay, but 88 strength is not very good. So overall, this card isn't great, to be completely honest with you. But hopefully it's going for a decent amount of coins. So, you know, something, I don't know, something more than 25k I'd be happy with. Even if it's like 50k or something like that, I'd be very, very happy with that. Somewhere around that range. Um, but like I said, I really have no idea what it's going for. I haven't paid close attention to any of these items outside of the DRC and really the Jared Allen. Other than that, I really haven't paid close attention. So, um, I don't know. Hopefully that's something decent. But uh, it's it's a seasoned vet, if nothing else. Uh, so, that's the first one of those that I've actually been able to pull. Because, as you guys know, I had a whole bunch of problems with actually being able to uh, accumulate those head-to-head -head master packs, as you just saw. Um... I had a whole bunch of problems with connection issues due to the fact that I have too many friends on my friends list. Whole long issue of, of errors with this game. Trust me, guys. It, it's been bad. But, all right. 
like I promised, I wanna give you guys an updated lineup going into today's videos uh, so that you guys can stop by later today and play me in pink slips if you guys are interested as we sell something for 12,000 coins. I don't even know what that was. Uh, probably, like I said, I'm just trying to stay on top of my items binder as much as I can. Um, but if you guys are interested in playing me today in pink slips, if, and again, if you're not, if you don't know what pink slips are, this is an opportunity for you guys to play me live on stream. Head on over to twitch.tv forward slash clickwithtv, and I actually just got my subscribe button today as well. So uh, there are zero subscribers currently on the channel. I just got it uh, last night. So if you guys are watching this on Saturday morning, I just got the subscribe button over there on Twitch. So if you're interested, head over there, subscribe to the channel. It would be amazing. Even if you're not going to subscribe to the channel, give it a follow. If you would, I would greatly appreciate that at least. Um, and uh, hope to see you guys there probably around three o'clock in the afternoon, two, two, two o'clock to three o'clock in the afternoon central time. So if you're on the East Coast, that's either going to be three o'clock or four o'clock, somewhere in that range. I'll try to keep you guys updated on Twitter. But here we go. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh, and again, I, I just want to quick explain what pink slips are. This is kind of the opportunity for you to play against me in a head-to-head -head game and what ends up happening is I spin a little wheel on the on the screen before we end up playing so that everybody can see and whatever ends up on the wheel is what you end up playing me for you don't have to put anything on the line it's just if you beat me you win the card so it's a pretty cool way for me to get back to the community um, a lot of times I get absolutely murdered I'm really not great at this game but I have a lot of fun playing it anyway so hope you hope you guys will uh, join me over on pink slips today uh, so here's the updated lineup, guys. We made a lot of upgrades here on the offense. Basically, the offensive line is completely revamped. We still have Travis Frederick. We still have Dan Deerdorf. The 93 Dan Deerdorf is an absolute beast. I'm not really planning on changing him. Travis Frederick's an absolute beast. Not really planning on changing him. But we did make an upgrade here at left tackle from Andre Whitworth to Jason Peters. And, and here we're going to quick compare Jason Peters to DeBrickashaw Ferguson. So obviously, he's better in strength. That's one of the most important attributes. A little bit lower in awareness. Um, speed is a little bit higher. His Excel is way lower, but I don't really care about that stuff. Um, I care about that run block attribute, which, which he's 11 better in, and he's only one lower in pass block with two higher in impact blocks. So uh, Jason Peters is definitely an excellent left tackle. I'm very, very happy to have him on my team. Uh, but it's nice to have De Debrickashaw Ferguson, if nothing else, as a backup, or if I end up selling him, I could do that as well. Um, and then we've got Clint Bowling here. We did make this upgrade as well. This was a suggestion by uh, Ryan915. He suggested that I make this upgrade here to Clint Bowling. If you take a look at some of his attributes, um, he's very, very good at run blocking as well. I've been having so many problems with my guys just getting blown up in the backfield, and I want some I want some guys that can make some plays in run blocking. So that's kind of the major thing that I focused on today uh, with upgrading the team. Obviously, we've got Travis Frederick in the middle with that 98 run block, and then we've got Clint Bowling over here with 96, and we saw uh, that... Uh, Jason Peters was great as well. I think he had a 97 for run block, but Clint Bowling is really great across the board. 93 strength is really his lowest attribute as far as the things that really matter. So I'm very, very happy to have him. Like I said, we're just trying to make some minor upgrades kind of across the board here. John Asamoa at right guard is another upgrade that we made. Uh, we did take out the uh, the Zach Martin. Now, this one I'm kind of, I, I kind of was a little bit hesitant to do because look at Zach Martin's attributes. Uh, the 93 strength is great for him. They're the same in pass block and he's only one lower in run block. And so to me, the big difference here, the reason that these guys are different is the fact that Zach Martin has a 73 awareness, which is just atrocious. And uh, obviously offensive line awareness isn't as important as it is at some other positions, especially on defense, but it's still important enough that I figured that I would make the up Upgrade here to John Asamoa. He's not super expensive, and I'm hoping that he'll do a decent job for me. Um, he's not going to be any worse than Zach Martin in really any area. He's pretty much the same or better in everything, so that should be a significant upgrade for me overall. So hopefully, I'm, I'm able to do a decent job there. Um, Still got a couple of other items here that I want to get rid of. The uh, the Marshall Yonda, the Luis Vasquez. Might end up doing uh, some 150s today with some of those type of cards, guys. Uh, so stop on by the stream if you guys are interested in getting any of those type of items. You know, not like the super expensive stuff or anything, but um, I'm definitely willing to drop off some of these cards for you guys if you're interested on the stream. Um, Rob Gronkowski. This might be the biggest upgrade that we make to our team. You guys know how much I like to throw to tight ends. Um, I did have the 96 Gronkowski before. I did end up selling him, and uh, this one is an amazing upgrade for me and my playing style. He's a little bit faster. He's a little bit stronger. He's really just a little bit better at absolutely everything than the 96 was. Um, this is the 24-hour uh, NFL Honors card. Absolutely a beast. He is just a, an incredible tight end card. 
probably the best tight end in my personal opinion. Uh, you could also make the case for Ditka, of course, but I love the fact that Gronkowski has 99 catch in traffic. That's really going to be, I think, a game changer for me. I've had a lot of issues with the 96 kind of um, he gets open and everything like that, but sometimes he just won't make the catch in traffic. Not that his catch in traffic was low, but I think moving it up to a 99 could be the difference that I need. So I'm very, very happy to have this 98 Rob Gronkowski. That was, um, that was a, uh, a big upgrade for me on my team. Now, uh, we did move around the wide receivers a little bit here. We have Elshon Jeffrey as our wide receiver one now. Brandon Marshall's going to play in the slot. Uh, we've got Gronk if we need to on a five wide set. Vincent Jackson's still there as well. And then you're going to see Michael Irvin. This is another 98 overall card that I that I got. Um, very excited to play with this today on Pink Slips. Look at the attributes of this card. The only thing that he's lower than on Elshon Jeffrey is he's an inch shorter and he's got two lower for spec catch, but everything else, he is absolutely amazing. Great elusiveness as well. So he's good in uh, making plays after the catch. So that could be a game breaker for me as well. Very excited to use this Michael Irvin. I think that he is definitely going to be a big addition to this team of mine uh, with the 95 speed as well. So he could potentially go deep on him. And that's something that I've really lacked with, uh, with having Alshon Jeffrey and Brandon Marshall. Not that they're bad. They're just not quite fast enough. So I think it could be a game changer for me to have this Michael Irvin item. Now, uh, we did also make an upgrade here at running back. And, and I say an upgrade. We moved from Jamal Charles 91 to this Trey Mason. And I'm telling you guys, the all-rookie Trey Mason, this card is glitchy. I don't know what the deal is. I think it might be the trucking, but he makes he breaks so many tackles. And it's not even like me lowering the shoulder and hitting the, the truck stick or anything like that. I run into guys and he just bounces off of them or or he carries them for an extra two yards. It happens so often. The only thing that I have found with him that I, I've been disappointed with is the fact that he he seems to be tired all the time. But people have told me that um, he doesn't have bad stamina. So I'm interested. I actually haven't even looked at this. Um, just want a quick look at this while I'm while I'm taking while I'm thinking about it. I should say, um, 96 stamina. So I have no idea why, but he seems to always be yellow for me before plays. But that just could be because I'm over abusing him. Uh, Legarrette Blunt's our backup now. Uh, like I said, we did get rid of Jamal Charles. Now at quarterback, this is going to be the biggest significant difference that you're going to see on my team. I was using the team of the week Cal uh, Cam Newton, the 94 overall, and uh, we move now to the 95 Peyton Manning. Now this is a significant cheaper card but for me it might actually be better I'm not really as mobile this year with my quarterback as I was in Madden 25 uh, when I was running a lot of QB rap type stuff and buck sweep read option stuff uh, this year it, to me running with your quarterback just isn't quite as OP as it was last year so to me I'm kind of thinking that Peyton Manning might be a better player for me now I am worried that he only has 68 speed that could be a problem. That could be a significant problem if I need to, you know, get out of the pocket and, and potentially, you know, make a play down the field or something. But um, the fact that he has such great throw accuracy, short and medium, and he still has great throw power and decent enough throw accuracy deep. Uh, Cam Newton's throw accuracy deep was 80. That is atrocious. And I think that was a major problem for me with actually throwing the football down the field because I was just, I was throwing too many picks put him down the field and it, and it could be that I end up being overconfident with Peyton Manning and throwing interceptions anyway but I do think that he is going to be an upgrade for me as far as throwing the ball and I wasn't running enough with Cam that it was worth me keeping him on my team Peyton's going for like 20 25k if you guys want a budget quarterback I can't think of how I, this might be the best card in the game right now as far as for your money it's an amazing card so uh definitely go out there and acquire that if you guys don't have it and then at fullback we are using Nate Solder on defense, we're pretty much the same here. I don't think we made any major differences here. Uh, the only difference that I did, I actually did, uh, I don't know if he's sold yet. I don't think he has actually sold yet. Um, but Derek Brooks, I did get rid of the uh, the higher overall Derek Brooks. That I think he was 95 overall. And the reason for it is because I was running, I've been running a lot of nickel. And your left outside linebacker is not on the field in a standard nickel formation. Like your standard, you know, just the, the 4D line, 2 linebacker. What ends up happening is Keekly and Khalil Mack are on the field for me. And that's not to say that I couldn't audible in Derek Brooks. But the fact that Khalil Mack is good enough makes me kind of think that I, I'm in better shape to use uh, to use Luke Keekly and Khalil Mack on the field. And then sell the 200,000 coins or whatever that Derek Brooks is going for. So uh, currently, of course, there is this 92 overall Derek Derek Brooks that you can utilize the rookie one. Uh, I think everybody has this one right now. So I'm using that for the time being. And I know that that's going to be going away in the next day or two. So I'll have to make another change there. 
What I'm currently planning on doing is actually just taking the 95 Luke Keekly and putting him there. So I might have two Luke Keekleys on the field in a 4-3 or a 4-6 formation, or if I end up running like a, uh, a nickel 3-3-5 or something like that, where I have three linebackers on the field. But currently, I think that this might be the best bang for the buck for me so that I can make some upgrades at some of these other positions. Like I said, I did want to make some big upgrades to my offensive line, so I spent a lot of coins on that, and uh, that's kind of that was kind of one of the sacrifices of me getting rid of Derek Brooks. And you guys know how much I like Derek Brooks, so it was difficult for me. Um, other than that, we are pretty much the same here. I can't think of anything else that we really changed from last week uh, as far as the defense goes. Defense really hasn't been my problem. It's been offense. It's been turnovers and, and uh, things like that. So hopefully I'm able to uh, improve that with the upgraded offensive line, the quarterback position, the running back position. We pretty much made an upgrade everywhere on my offense. So uh, major changes there. And the defense is pretty much going to stay the same. Hopefully, we're able to, you know, stick in there and uh, just stay in games. So uh, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. At the beginning here, um, I am planning on doing, like I said, uh, opening the legend bundles here at some point throughout the day. So hopefully, you guys will tune into the streams. Uh, we might maybe do. Well, I'm going to open both of them on Saturday because I want to have those chances at that 24-hour boss, Calvin. That thing is going to be out of freaking control. So I definitely want to have my chance at those. Um, but yeah, we're planning on doing them on stream for you guys live. So if you're interested in watching a legend bundle get that uh, get unpacked, head on over again to uh, twitch.tv forward slash clickwood TV. Follow me on there, and you'll be you'll be given some sort of an update on when I actually go live. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter again at clickwood TV, and that's going to be the best way for you to uh, know when I'm actually going live with all of this. And I'll also probably upload a YouTube video to try and give you guys an update. So. Be on the lookout for that stuff, guys. Hope to see you over there today on Twitch. Thank you again for tuning into this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I want to hear what you guys have to say about my team as well. Do you think that these upgrades are going to do it for me? Or do I need to make an upgrade somewhere else? Did I misspend money? Should I have, you know, invested somewhere else? Let me know what you guys think. Thank you again for tuning into the video. I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the like button here on this video. Uh, we try to remind everybody to do that every time. That's a, it's a big time way for me to grow the channel. And of course, if you're new to the channel, again, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Again, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys again later today. Bye-bye.